Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sneha Shetty, Clinical Director, Chief Fertility Specialist, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon here from Rich Fertility, HSR Layout, Bengaluru. On this World Down Syndrome Day, let us discuss about what is this Down Syndrome, what are the causes, what are the risk factors and can we detect it before planning pregnancy or can we detect it during pregnancy. So Down Syndrome is also known as Trisomy 21. It is characterized by the presence of an extra chromosome on chromosome 21. This additional genetic material which is present, it alters the course of development, has certain additional separate physical characteristics which are present and also it is associated with intellectual disabilities and causes potential health hazards. So what is the cause of this Down syndrome? The primary exact cause of Down syndrome is mainly because of some error in the reproduction. That is when the egg and the sperm meet and get fertilized, the resulting embryo usually has extra pair of chromosomes rather than the normal two which usually happens during the division and formation of the embryo. Here we have an extra pair of chromosomes especially on the chromosome 21 which leads to this particular abnormality. So what are the risk factors for this Down syndrome? So the risk factors of Down syndrome. So usually we categorize the risk factors of Down syndrome into four main types. The first risk factor is that of the maternal age. As the age advances, there are certain aneuploidy changes which happen in the egg. So a woman whose age is more than 35 years of age has a higher risk of having a Down syndrome baby. Not that the lower age do not have Down syndrome or anything, it is more because of the advanced age patients we see more. The second risk factor is paternal translocations. If the mother or the father are carrying certain translocation abnormalities or certain genetic abnormalities, then the same thing is transmitted to the resulting embryo and it may affect the baby and cause Down syndrome. The third most common risk factor is if there is any family history of Down syndrome or if the couple already have a previous child or a previous pregnancy in which there was a history of Down syndrome. The fourth risk factor is if there is any exposure to certain chemicals or radiations in the couple, it can lead to this Down syndrome as well. So can this Down syndrome be detected during pregnancy? So there are certain markers which can be detected and which can help us decide whether this particular pregnancy in the couple is at high risk of having Down syndrome or we can sometimes even confirm by the presence of certain soft markers plus additional testing and all to rule out this Down syndrome. So first the most common test which we all do, we all practice in our day to day life is that every pregnant woman at 12 to 13 weeks we do a nuchal translucency scan, NT scan. Along with that, it is combined with some blood test like dual marker test, quadruple test. So along with this NT scan, we do a combined first trimester screening test in which it is a blood test which helps us get a risk factor panel assessment to know how much of risk is present for that particular couple to have a Down syndrome baby. Second common test which nowadays we are practicing is called as an NIPT test which is the non-invasive prenatal testing. So it is a blood test, it is a non-invasive test which has much more better accuracy. So usually couples can directly go in for an NIPT test after the NT scan or they can first do the double marker test and if it is positive or some high risk is detected then we advise for NIPT scan depending on the risk factors if it is present or not. The third most common test is the quadruple screening test which is usually done between the 15th week to 20th week if at all the couple has missed doing the double marker or NIPT test then a quadruple marker test is also suggested. The fourth test is an invasive form of testing wherein we do under ultrasound guidance we go and we take out the sample from the amniotic fluid and we send it for DNA testing. This test can be called as amniosynthesis or chorionic villus sampling depending on when you are doing it and what is the mode of testing. 
so can we do something to help a couple in diagnosing this down syndrome or ruling out aneuploidy before they even plan for pregnancy if they have any risk factors definitely yes so there is a testing called pre genetic testing of the embryos for aneuploidies so usually in couples who are above 35 38 years of age maternal age or if like we discussed the any of the risk factors if it is present the couple is advised to undergo ivf and the resulting embryo whichever is formed we send it for genetic testing once we get the reports only the normal euploid embryo which is devoid of this aneuploidy problem down syndrome and major genetic issues those normal embryos are transferred into the female partner's uterus knowing about all this is very very important we do know many down uh, syndrome people who have contributed a lot to the society and have brought about very good changes but at the same time it is important to raise awareness so that the parents to be can take an informed decision